Howdy folks, Captain315 here, uh, TikTok, Scotty Andrew 315 kind of bouncing around over there a little bit too with the shorts and stuff, but uh, welcome to the very first installment, basically the intro to Porting 101. Uh, I promised I would do this for you folks and give out the secrets that seem to be so heavily guarded, or at least give you most of the secrets. <laughs> um, Obviously, my videos are raw. I'm not a great public speaker, so there's going to be a lot of rambling. I'm going to try to keep that to a minimum. Uh, as I was saying, this is going to be an intro and a little bit of a background on how I figured all this crap out because I didn't do it alone. Um, we've got a stock 20.5 horse Briggs 46 cubic inch oppie here. This is the big boy that I'm building with all the billet parts and everything. This is a test block. It's an old junk 18 horse splash loop block uh, that I've been working on. Uh, we will get into the more nitty gritty on what was going on here and stuff uh, as far as a comparison flow bench build and everything. But um, the goal here is to take some of this dark art and the closely guarded secrets and divulge them. Uh, at least get you guys on your way to being able to do this stuff at home DIY style and make more power. Um, as far as a background, I've been building engines since I was literally 12 years old. I'm 47 now. Uh, if it had an engine, I was going to hop it up, period. All the way back from, my gosh, three horse Tecumseh's and Briggs, all the way up to, uh, all the way up to supercharged LS3s, uh, big blocks, nitrous motors, everything else. Um, I have done this in competition. Uh, I have done it for fellow competitors um, but for the most part I do it for fun it's it's fun to take something that shouldn't do what it's doing and make it haul ass um, as most of us tractor guys are well aware of what we're doing uh, take something that was never intended for and, and just you know blow people's minds um, trying to think what else to cover here without rambling too much it's only first beer So, folks, cylinder head porting, um, it is. It's a dark art. You either get it or you don't get it. Um, hopefully, I can give you some secrets here and get you well on your way to at least making some more power than you already have. Um, this is something that's done in competition to extract more power out of engines. Um, obviously, in racing scenarios, which 90% of this comes from, um, if you happen to experiment and you find something that gives you a little edge on your competition, you're not going to share that information. You're certainly not going to share it with your competitors. Um, you're probably going to keep your mouth shut and go out there and whoop ass, right? Okay, so we can't fault people for not giving away all these secrets. Uh, back in the day when I ran carts with the Briggs motors, Briggs motors on them, um, I was actually building engines for a couple of my competitors in the same class. You think they got every single trick that I had in my engines? No, no, not happening. They got most of the tricks and was able to, you know, at least give them bang for the buck and let them keep up. But I was not going to let them get ahead of me. They're not going to get every single secret. I busted my ass to figure this kind of stuff out and learned a lot by paying attention along the way. Yes, you can succeed in school by reading hot rod books and study hall. Don't ever let anybody tell you you can't. Um, <laughs> okay, um, so what we're going to do here is, is this part is just an info uh, and introduction. Uh, we'll get into the flow bench stuff, how to, how to take measurements and actually uh, measure and record whether or not you made gains or not. Because I can tell you for a fact, if you go to, into any port in an engine and just start hogging it out, you're probably going to hurt it. Okay, now a lot of you guys take these uh, mower type engines especially, which are pretty crude as far as the ports. A lot of casting flash and, and sharp edges and stuff. A lot of you guys will say, well, I ported it. You just went in there and cleaned up those sharp edges and, and, and took the casting flash out. Absolutely helps, every little bit helps. Uh, we're gonna take this three or four steps further and we're gonna prove it on the flow bench once we get into this. Uh, now this is going to cover more flathead type stuff which, you know, a lot of you guys are running overhead valves. Um, an overhead valve engine is absolutely going to outperform a flathead. It, 
period, bar none. Uh, it's all about the airflow and how it gets in and out of the cylinder head and into the cylinder and the efficiency of it. So um, if you wanna go crazy with a flat head and be a dinosaur caveman like I am, uh, you're gonna wanna follow along. We may in the future do one that covers a little bit of overhead valve stuff, but these are the tricky boogers to make run good here. Um, probably if there's one thing that I would like to see you all keep in your head uh, over all of this, so you know, porting, doing this, dark art, he scared me, valve angles, port runners, and lengths, all that kind of stuff. I want you to remember one thing, this is our ultimate goal. An engine is nothing but an air pump. The more air you can get in it, the more air you can get back out of it, the faster it's gonna go, period. Done, end of subject. That's all we're trying to do here. Uh, your camshaft controls when the air goes in and out. Uh, your port controls uh, how fast and how much air gets crammed in the cylinder and back out. And we'll touch on that. I mean, we're not doing F1 engines here, so I'm not gonna get into too much uh, intake manifold ru runner lengths and uh, uh, tuning your uh, exhaust header diameters and tubing lengths and stuff like that, but we'll at least touch on it to give you an idea. Um, valve jobs will touch on it a lot. Uh, valve jobs are big and we will cover all that kind of stuff. So let's, uh, let's cut it off for there. But as you can see, there's your stock engine and there's your ported engine. That's the kind of stuff I want you guys to be able to do at home after watching some of these videos. And you know what? Somebody's gonna come along and comment on these and say, this guy don't know what he's talking about. This is what you gotta do. Number one, nobody's gonna tell you what they're doing. All right, they're just gonna say it's wrong. Well, I'm telling you it's not wrong. This stuff works. If you wanna take and extract every last quarter of a horsepower out of your engine and you're going out there in full competition or all out racing, there's better guys out there. But I'm gonna get you 75% of the way there for free. Stay tuned.